Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter side video. Now, one of the worst things that I've actually ever done in my own account is the first time I ever got an exclusive equipment. So if you guys are not aware, some characters have exclusive gear and it's tied to that character and only that character can equip them. Gayun's one was one of the best one. So I figured, hey, Gabija. Gayun's uh, exclusive equipment is only equipable by Gayun, no one else. So, I remember in the first month of me playing Counter Side, I spent at least 50 gold binaries on this particular gear. I think I bypassed, I got like anti supporter, anti ranger, and then now I'm like anti defender, I stopped. Until today, I still live to regret that moment, which is the purpose of today's video. Alright, so hopefully, I can warn you guys about exclusive gears and why you do not want to spend any binaries on them if you can. Uh, this is going to be much more important if you are free to play. All right, If you are a free to play player, this is going to be especially more important because of how rare the gold binaries are. Now if you are a pay to win, if you are a whale, probably it doesn't matter because you can buy gold binaries anyways, right? But if you are a F2P, chances are, especially for Gayun where she's always spent in PvP, you're like, ugh, you spend so much gold binaries even if you get skill haste. If she's banned in PvP in that week, then what? You can't use her, you have to like rely on someone else, right? That's why for most free to play, my advice is always if you can, if you want to tune anything, only tune the maze gears because that's something that you can swap between every single character possible. And also, if you guys are not aware, in the future, all the exclusive gears will be farmable. Like I, I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere in one of the, the patch notes for the KR developers notes or something along those lines, but they do plan to make all the exclusive gears farmable. So right now, you might have only one copy. Uh, if you guys are not aware, there's a way to get some of this one from the counter case. You can go to the counter case, uh, you just need to unlock them at the last one, and this one you can see, you will get it at level 100. So every character available in the counter case right now, you will be able to unlock their exclusive equipment. Which makes a lot of players believe that you only get one, so therefore it's worth tuning. But in the future, all of them will be farmable. So uh, in this video, hopefully I'll show you guys what I showed my stream yesterday. Basically, all the farmable ones that's available in C server right now. If you guys can, try to avoid spending any binaries on these things. So a lot of you guys from global server have been asking me about the exclusive equipment thing. So I'm going to show you guys. So uh, the this one, right? This one is the one that we have right now in C server, the alt squad. So what is this? This one is a stage that you can farm for exclusive gears. So you, you are basically farming for this material. You can see it's called... A dark network request token. So when you go to the stage, right, there's also a very small chance that you can get their exclusive equipment. So you can see this is uh it looks like Gabija, but it's not Gabija. This one uh it doesn't it looks like the Gayun's associate equipment, but it's not. It's Eugene's associate equipment. I know, right? It's the same, right? It's the same. Uh Eugene, uh Xiaoyun. Xiaolin? Ah Xiaolin can be farmed. Don't waste binaries on Xiaolin's gears. Alright, stop. And also, Xiaolin's one is accessory, but just because it's accessory, you can't put two. I used to think that, okay, I'm going to farm one more, I'm going to have two, oh, my Xiaolin better than enemy Xiaolin. But no, there's no such thing. You can only put one exclusive equipment. Just because it's an accessory, it doesn't give you, and then Kim Sobin, right? So eventually, every single exclusive equipment will be farmable, so I don't think you want to waste any binaries on them, right? Um, that's the thing. It also depends on, it depends on how long you plan to play the game. Like, assuming if you're going to play this game for at least, like, like what's a reasonable one? Two to three years? Two, three, four, four years? Maybe by then everyone's exclusive gear should be farmable. That, that's the perspective that I'm... Unless you're just playing this game for, like, a few more months. But in most cases, yeah, the stage is pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty generic. It's pretty uh, interesting, but usually I'll just stack, go in. There's no sweep, you still have to stack. So uh, we'll try to fight the, the hardest one, the Seoyun one. Am I too late to play this game? Dang, you haven't started? You're still re-rolling? No way! Actually, now is a good time to start, actually. You start now, right? Then you re-roll for Awaken Yuna. Ah, not bad, right? Not bad! Re-roll for Awaken Yuna. What do you guys think? Play until unlucky, then quit. Melia was super disgusting. It's so expensive for Ethereum to farm on this. It is very expensive. Well, I'm just I'm just doing it uh, to show to show the global players because I'm already done with all my event as well. One thing that you guys can notice, uh, 
I want to see if I can show it to you guys. Can I show it to you guys? Let me let me turn it down a bit. Turn off the auto first. There's a Xiaolin at the back by the way. Do -do 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 -do. Is it showing the numbers? It's not. The enemy in this stage has high evasion. You can see there's a lot of miss actually. Using Paper Bean for PvE content? Yeah, Paper Bean is very strong in PvE content. Uh, if you have good gears on him, that is. Ew! Hit! Ew! No way! I actually got hit? So yeah, once you get that, you are basically farming the materials. You can basically go to the workshop. You can craft the gears under here. Does Global have this section yet? I think Global don't have this section. Uh, you can see gear, relic gear, raid gear. I think Global don't have this thing called exclusive gear yet, right? So Global don't have... Uh, just to show you guys in Global server, right? So these are the gears that you can farm. So number one, E1, yes. You can farm for E1's weapon. But Global don't even have him, so it doesn't matter. Overflow Hentai. All right, all of you are familiar with Overflow Hentai, one of the best Hentai in 2021. So his gear can be farmed, yes. Imagine anyone farming for Glitch. I would laugh at you. But hey, you do you, all right? You do you. I mean, if you love Glitch the Beach one. Alpha Tricks, okay. Alpha Tricks. So Alpha Tricks is who? Shinja the Boba, okay. Uh, Gabriel Jun, wow. Videotape of Sirom. Do you guys know the old Sirom watches Kamen Rider when she was young? Dang, insane, right? I'll just spot the story for you guys. Kim Chowon, I don't know why she has glasses. And Lee Jin. Okay, this for Alpha Tricks. Next, Out Squad. Okay, this one is the one that I just showed you. Next, Academy Student. Yin Yang Unification. Okay, Yen Sing Lanchester, uh, Adif Twins, and Mika Star. Which is all pretty uh, cringe, actually. Um, Next, Nanahara family, yes. Nanahara family you can farm. Okay, you can farm Nanahara family. So basically, Hayami Sanae, uh, Nanahara Chinatsu, Nanahara Chifuyu, Nayuka Minato, everybody's favorite MC, wow. And Ogami, everybody's favorite villain. Okay, all of these can be farmed. So if you guys have them, all right, consider farming these later on. Which one? White Rabbit? Okay, Young Harims iPhone 6, I've been telling you guys, do not spend binaries on Young Harim's iPhone. You can farm in the future. You will get CDR if you keep farming. Uh, the, 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 the raccoon, Han Sorim's raccoon. And then Cho Ho Jin, like, I don't think anybody cares about Cho Ho Jin, cringe. And this one is... Yeah, this one is the uh, Lee Su Yon Strike, wow. Na Yubin, the normal Na Yubin, not, not the awakened one, the normal one. And then you have Lute Mila, yes. And then you have Alex only. Alright. So just to show you, these are the gears. In the future, they I I'm pretty sure I read in the future. The KR one of the KR developers not they say they're planning to add more for sure, but now there's a bunch of bug, there's a bunch of glitch. They are fixing that now, they, they are focusing on that. But in the future, all exclusive gears they are saying that they will make it farmable. So I don't think it's if you are free to play, probably it's not that wise to spend binaries on any of them. Yeah, sometimes you can get lucky, I understand, but it's like if if it's farmable, why, you know, why spend binaries on them, right? So these are the ones that's available on C for now, and they do rotate. Compared to all other gachas, CS is really free-to-play friendly.